Now, what I like to do is start to put some definition behind engagement, talent engagement in this case. I think Ethel talked about relationships uh, as part of the engagement. Here, it's slightly more in, in terms of relationships. It's, it's actually those relationships that you, you want, you want the, the connections that you want in the organization, yeah, between the organization and yourself, but in brackets, based on cultural needs. Yeah, we need to be cognizant of the cultures of each of the of the country of the organizations, etc. Yeah. Now, there was a report that I read. Uh, I think it was also in the Deloitte's uh, in the in one of the Deloitte reports. It says in China, the way for us to retain our employees, engage them, is actually to give them a fat increment at the end of the year. The Chinese, and this was a generalization, I guess, they say the Chinese don't care about gourmet foods, etc. If you give them a fat increment at the end of the year, you have retained them and they won't be looking for another job, etc. That's it. Yeah. So, but that's a cultural difference. You go to Apple, and I think uh, <coughs> Warren showed, you know, the, the, the retention rates of uh, Google and Apple, etc. It's very difficult. Yeah, they, they, it's a total package. They're looking at the conducive environment that you need. They're looking at the pay scale and they look at everything in terms of a total package for employees. Yeah? Now, we mentioned Netflix. I think some of you may have read this uh, article probably one or two weeks ago. Netflix uh, said, we want to, or it's very difficult now to compete in order for us to compete, we need to ensure that we keep our most talented uh, individuals in their field. So what did they do? What did they do? Anyone? They introduced a parental maternity leave. Yeah? And they said, you can go, you can go on a one-year holiday, fully paid by, the, uh, by Netflix, because we want to still keep you in the organization. Fully paid. Yeah? Many organizations, BMW and a few others, they allow the employees to go on half pay. Yeah? Some for six months, some for a year. But in Netflix, they said, we'll do this because we think that this is the right thing for us to do for our employees to retain them, to engage with them. Will it work in Malaysia, you think? What are the incentives? Yeah? Perhaps here we don't have so much of a problem because they are mates, okay, now harder to get Indonesian and Filipino mates, but uh, Cambodian mates and others. So the, the and the extended family to take care of the fam of the baby and, and so on and so forth. But in the US it is an issue. In the US, in order for you to become a parent. You need to look at, you know, who's going to take care of the, of the baby, who's going to do all that, and, and so on and so forth. And, and that is an issue. So here is where, again, the focus is on the cultural aspects of engagement that becomes important. Yeah?